Oh, hello everybody and welcome back for another stream. It's uh, this time we're playing the room three. I need to close something in the background that's making everything look very pale. Hopefully that's a little bit better for you. Looked a bit bright to me. Oh, but yeah, so we're going to play the room three. I'm going to put this music off and we're going to get straight into it. There it is. It's the music from the room three. It's the third in the series of strange puzzle box games. The final game in the series as well, as far as I'm aware. So uh, yeah, we're going to play this. Um, like a bit of a puzzle game. Nice and chilled out sort of atmosphere for this as well. So hopefully that'll be alright. And you know, let's just talk about whatever you want to talk about too. Because why not? That's what we're here for, right? So, new game. It's time for more puzzles that will be no doubt very confusing and the storyline in the background is uh, confusing too. Hopefully everything's moving smoothly enough. We're on a train! Click and drag the screen to look around, as always. We're heading off to Hogwarts on the train. Maybe not, I don't know. It's the gateway to Great Britain. The gateway to Great Britain. Double click on the journal to focus on it and drag it open as you do. What do we see? July 5th, AS is gone. His entire house is gone. I dare not recount all that I saw. I would rather that I was insane and that those infernal boxes were but a figment of my fevered mind. I should never have ignored you. If only I'd come sooner. If only I'd not come at all. Well, you can't, you can't do one of the, you can't do both. You can do one or the other. I've awoken from the nightmare, but I'm forever haunted by it. I submerge myself in my work, as if to drown the memories, but it is no use. The null calls to me in my sleep and seizes any unoccupied moment to fill my thoughts unbidden. I am marked. He's desperate to do more puzzles. July 19th, I've continued to petition the Royal Institute. There's something about their denials that does not sit with me. Their insistence is too shrill and determined to cover something as innocent as ignorance. I break through. As the Royal Institute rebuffed me once more, an undersecretary with a drawn look slid a packet into my jacket pocket as they passed. And when he opened it, he found out that they'd given him illicit substances. They refused to meet my eye as they hurried away. The packet included a page torn from a map of the south coast with an island circled. I leave on the first train to an island? A train to an island? I mean, I suppose there could be a bridge, but... So here we've got a triangle. Colchester, Minsk, and Foggia. So somewhere in there, something to do with the Crusades. And then we've got this. There's points of interest there, whatever that is. And we've got a room. A temple, a tomb, a crypt. Or infinity. Is that it? And we've got a dark door. These seem to be the thing we use to get between areas in this game. And, well, someone uh, forgot to finish the journal. Oh, it's dark. We're in a... What is... Who's that? Who's that? Alistair Crowley paid us a visit. So, we've got a key on top of a box. It's a nice, simple first puzzle. Small key. Presumably, we... St I have a key, but there's no keyhole on this box. The surface looks strange. I should get the eyepiece from my suitcase. Yeah, you should. Uh, where's my suitcase? Oh, I've got to, I've got to open my suitcase. Okay. Pop the latches, as you do. It's a puzzle just to get your briefcase open. And then we've got some underclothes. My suitcase has some modifications. I require a degree of secrecy. Oh, I can see the modifications straight away. I don't know if it's uh, that secret, to be honest. If you went to customs with that, I'm pretty sure someone would go, would you mind if I just pop that little latch there, sir? Oh, look, you've got newspaper cuttings that make you seem like you might be a little obsessive. What does that say? No remains found! Elusive owner missing. Was that the house that we went out of at the end of the last game, do you think? The channel. The channel. But what we want is that. An eyepiece. Anything else we can look at? Bang. Ooh, look. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. And sometimes it, nothing happens. Click the icon to remove the eyepiece. I should examine that curious box.
Yes, you probably should. So, let's go and look at the box. Pop the eyepiece on and oh look. There's a puzzle inside the box. It's pretty much the, the whole point of this game, to be fair. I think that needs to go there. No? Oh. I think that one needs to go down. Pop that one in, put that one there, and there we go. One little keyhole that just magically appeared out of nowhere. Though it better not to ask questions, you know? Of the weird magical people who appeared from nowhere and gave us a magic box. Cenobites, probably. It's Hellraiser. What is your pleasure, he says. An engraved pyramid. And El Elpis? Is that like Elvis, but... When he needs the toilet? And now we're inside a building. What happened? Where am I? Who knows? We're in a we're in a dark room or something. I don't know. Can we pop that down or just pull it across? Ooh, there's a room with some stuff in it and a guy. Who's the guy? Who's the man? Tentacles have come in and they've followed him out. He's the master of the tentacles. The tenta king. I don't know. I'm just I'm just saying silly things to be honest. What's this? What's that? Can that do anything? No. But we've got a couple of little... Do these spin? I get the feeling these might spin. Let's see. Oh ho! So there's all sorts of... What's that? A telescope, a thing, a moth. So what is the point of this? Right, so we've got some kind of note on top of there. Maybe that tells me what this is all about. You were warned not to look for me, but you would not listen, and it's become necessary for me to find you. Welcome to Grey Home, the seat of my ancestors. Seldom few visitors have walked these halls. Fewer still have walked free of them. In the past, I have drawn my subjects from the greatest minds of history. Each played their part, but none outlived it. The Null wraps its bonds around all, all except you. It was a mistake to try and keep you away. I see now that I have great need of you. If you can prove yourself worthy, your first task is to find something that will aid you in your trials ahead. Find it, or never leave this room. And I'll have gone to great effort in vain. The Craftsman. So that's the guy that we're chasing here. Good. So what? what is all this? Because we've got like... Oh, the power of flight. The Well of Knowledge. So, let's see. Power of flight, the well of knowledge. Well, isn't a locket. A feather? Not strychnine, either. A feather in an inkwell, surely. I'm guessing we've got to do all of these. The poor have me, the rich need me. So, I'll be looking for an empty box. It's that one, right? And my face is silent without my hands. That'll be a clock or a watch of some kind, I expect. Not particularly difficult. There we go. Aha. Oh, I've got a letter. I believe you have a letter for me. Quite painful to watch how you blunder to and fro, half-blinded by these crude lenses you stumbled upon. Allow me to pry the scales from your eyes. These are the instruments of a craftsman. They will allow you to see the universe as it truly is and reach into the unseen infinity of space that surrounds us. That's from the craftsman as well. We've got an ornate box in our inventory. Let's take a look at this. There's some sort of mechanism it said to open it. Well, that was not very difficult to work out. And now we've got another lens. I guess we stick that on our thing and now... Well, now we can zoom in and out, look. There's something strange on this door. Click to wear the eyepiece, why? Double click on the door. Double click on the keyhole. Oh! We're going through the keyhole! Shh, one sec.
Right, so I guess we just got to work out how what way we're doing all these little symbols, these little locks. Oh, so they obviously have to line up there. But how do I get them to come down? How do I get this one to come down to there? Only goes as far as that, so how do I get that to go down far enough to go there? What? How do I how do I do that in such a way that all of them line up? So these look like they're in the right positions. But how do I get that one into the right position? Oh hello. Oh hello, that one's in the right position now wonder how I can get this one in the right position. Aha! And I believe that we should now have the door open. So there's a new mechanism in the game which allows us to actually go inside things that are too small to really go inside. I'm not going to complain. We got out the door. Wouldn't have been great if we got trapped in the, in the one room straight away, would it? <laughs> you know, oh, we're here, we're trapped. Hmm. Double click on the doorway to go through it, as usual. I don't think we need to read these tutorial bits, do we? I should probably turn them off, to be honest. Right, so what have we got in this room? A lot of different things. Uh, what's that? So that looks like it's got to be surely a solar system or something with the sun in the middle. I don't have anything that can go on it. What else do we have? Can't go to that. Can't go to that. There's a table there that I'll look at in a moment. We've got... What's this? Shields. Shields of various types. Well, the only thing we can really do then, unless that's something, no, is go and have a look at this table over here. What is it? Sludge or tar or something all over there. Does this triangle thing go in there? Does this open, or does it just pop onto the thing, do you think? It doesn't seem to open. Does it just go in there? Oh, maybe it goes there. Oh ho! We have... A pyramid, but it's doing something. It's rolling around the edge on its own. Spin in, spin in! Is it gonna drop into that hole in the middle? Because if it is, why can't I just... Why can't I have just... Okay, no. One spinning thing. Oh, and look, it has a shield which has got a snake and a rat on it. That's interesting. An emblem, as it says. Okay, well, there were shields over here. A snake and a rat. Well, there's a snake and a rat on this side, so I'm assuming it's got to go there, surely. Aha, and this now gives me something else to do. One sec. Okay, so we've got adjustable kind of bits here. If that's got two stars, but there's something with a grasshopper. Can I move this? How do I move this? Can I go in closer? Okay, there we go. So something which fits that. Let's just see, the owl, the yellow, and the, the red with the thing are all there already. So we need a black line going up the way. Oh yeah, and here we go. Is that it? Just see what else there is. Oh yeah, but I say that. I say that's it, but it's got a line going down there, which that doesn't have. Hmm. It's got to be on the left. It's the only thing that I can think of that might be right. Let's try that and see. Now, what's on this side? So we've got a rat and a kind of blue and red pattern. I would imagine that's what's supposed to be there. Then we've got a green snake. Probably there? Yes! So what's that done? Oh ho! We've moved a sword. Can we move this sword? No. So what have I missed? Oh, hang on, there's this as well. Um, 
if that's that, then we're looking for an owl with two stars, surely. Aha! That was quite an easy puzzle to work out, to be honest. Without too much difficulty, really. And we've opened a secret door into a room with a red curtain. What's going to be in here? Let's find out. So, what have we got? We've got a window that's open. Was this place I have to find a way out? It's a place we have to find a way out of. Hey, not bad. How have you been? I've been back to work the last couple of days, so getting used to that, you know. <laughs> ah, it's not been too bad, though. So far, at least. Nothing too bad's happened. <laughs> Oh, hopefully nothing too bad, was it? Oh, let's go over here. I suppose with anything now. Right. Oh, jeez. It's not uh, not what you like to hear. Have you had your result yet to let you know if you're clear sort of thing? Well, I guess you are if uh, if you're back at work tomorrow. Well, that's good at least. That's that's good to know. It's uh, it's a worry, isn't it? You know, because obviously places can't really let you can't really let you come in at all, really, with that, can you? It's not been too bad. The only thing I will say is, you know, I I, I was used to, yeah. Hmm. It's definitely one of those things to. You always put it off, don't you? You know, you always think, ah, oh, I don't need to see anyone about that. It's not a problem, really. Don't worry. It'll be fine. You know. And then, you know, hopefully it's not anything, but <laughs> you just don't know, do you, if you don't go and ask. Uh, but yeah. The only thing I will say I've, I've found, I mean, it's easy. I found it was easy going in the shops and putting a mask on in the shop, you know, and just going and buying something and getting out. It is quite stifling when you're wearing it all day long. <laughs> so I, I can understand, you know, people in uh, hospitals and all the rest that work much longer time, much longer days than I do. I can't understand because, you know, they've been doing it a lot longer than I have. <laughs> 12 hours, man. I say I do, you know, seven, eight hours or so, seven, eight hours and... I have to go outside for fresh air after a while because it's just doesn't help that it's quite warm as well still does it that just seems to make it so much worse what have we got here as you've discovered on your little adventures contained within the nulls the power to transfer matter across space and time I've watched you cross leagues and centuries just as some lesser individual might cross a street but what of light years well I, as a human being can't travel light years on your own surely not you couldn't survive them anyway. <laughs> Thanks very much. Um, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully, uh, hopefully work will be all right for you. After all that. Right, so there we go. The craftsman is telling me all about how I've done so much better than other people. Do we agree with them? I don't know. This drawer is locked. I mean, it doesn't appear to be locked. It is locked. Have a good one. What's this? That looks like it's going to turn, surely. Can't do anything with it right now, though. Uh, what's this thing? Potentially looks like it's going to have some kind of sound waves or wave forms of some kind on it. Or it could be like a radar screen or something, I don't know. I don't know what it is. A fire. Obviously we know what a fire is. It's a it's a thing that you light to keep warm. Or if you need to get rid of some evidence quickly. I don't know, something like that. Right, what's this we've got? This is a box. That's pretty much all I can tell you about that. It's got some switches on it. But there's no power going to it at the moment, as we can see there. So we need to somehow get power to this, I'm guessing. And we've got a little switch here. That has no power either. We can't adjust that. The handle's locked in place. 
But how do I get it to move? I can't. There's one other thing we haven't looked at yet, which is this over here. It's a big box with some lights on it. So what do I need to do here? So this has got negative to positive to negative. So I guess we need to link that link stuff up in that way. I guess. That's not that, because that's wrong. <laughs> that's definitely wrong. Uh, okay. I guess we have to connect everything. Negative to positive. Positive, I guess, to negative then in that case. Aha! That's positive to negative. I need to get that to negative there. There's one... Oh no, that's enough, is it? Even though there's one that's not on. Yeah, apparently so. We've unlocked this switch. I guess there's nothing more to do with that than just... Go on then. For some reason, you pull this with the mouse and it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it. But we're okay. Do 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 do. I just need to do one other thing. While we're waiting for this to do whatever it's doing. Right, so now this should have power, right? Just look at that message thing from from work. Sixty-two messages all of a sudden have appeared. I won't be looking at those anytime soon. <laughs> at least not right now. Uh, yeah, so once I do this, then I will check out what that's doing. Get rid of that. Go away. Go away. Can't even get the message to go away. There we go. I didn't want to watch someone else right now. Not while I'm in the middle of mine. So. Go away. There we go. We're sorted now. So what's this thing? It's a box. It has switches on it. Do we just have to turn the switches on? If we turn them on too much, is that bad? Oh, now we've got a button. Push the button. That boosts the power a little bit. Oh, gives this some power now. Ah, yeah, I was right. Some kind of waveform. So I guess we need to adjust these lever, these levers, these dials. Right, so how's this going? So I want it to be about... Well, let's try and reduce the kind of wavelength a little bit or increase it maybe. I don't know. No, come on. Is that narrow enough yet? Probably that. Can I move this one? I'm just, I'm just pulling it off to... There we go. Is that it? Yes. Quite easy. Just line that form up with that and we're done. And now we've got some sort of laser blasting a wall. Oh no. It's created a door. Where's that door going to take us? Who knows? To New Horizons! Or to just some other room with more puzzles in it, probably, to be honest. Let's see. Okay, so now we have a room with a table in the middle. You can see what it is. There's an owl there on that banner. Grasshopper, rat. So this is like those symbols from earlier. Can't go over there can go over here and over here we've got some sort of thing with letters well, I don't really know what that is right now but I guess that'll be useful for something oh we've got a little note there the name of this tower tower will reveal the way the name of the tower will reveal the way so I guess whatever the tower is called will be whatever word we're supposed to create in that, I imagine. Uh, all we can look at on this, it looks like, is that puzzle. Yeah, so what's this? A lot of things here by the look of it. We've got a little... It's like a Game of Thrones map. There's some gaps in this, though. Some gaps in here. What's over there? Nothing. A snake. That's about it. Is there anything around the edge of here? I saw something there. What's that? Can we can we move this? Can I use that? 
no. Anything else? What are those things? Just gonna move out a little bit just to see if there's anything else we can read in the area while we're while we're standing here actually. There's some gaps on the floor there, what are they? Can't look at them any closer. What is that? Pyre. We found a, sp a sphere suspended in a cradle. Great, what's that for? Can we examine it? Does it, oh, it rotates and there it has some pins on it. Can I move the whole thing or just that? So that's got pins on it. I can't turn it anymore. All I can do is rotate it like that. So does that go somewhere? Pyre. Does that go here? Circular thing, does it go in there? No, no. Uh, no, it's too big to go there, too small to go there, surely. What's that one? Don't think it goes in there either. I think maybe it doesn't go in any of these. So what is that? Do these things do anything? Interesting. So there was a slot there in the floor, which had the word pyre on it as well. I wonder if that means anything for this thing. Let's have a look. So if I put... And I don't know how this works. Oh. I don't know what I'm looking at here. What is this? If that goes up. No, I don't think that's I don't think that's got anything to do with this. I don't think that's the name of the tower, is it? So what else can we find here? Little things. And nothing useful yet. What's this? This is about the only thing that's actually part of it. Looks like something's missing. Does this go on it? No, nope, that doesn't go on it. And what's missing? Oh, there's a note over there that I didn't see before. What is this place? Well, it's a tower. I don't know what tower it is. If we knew the name of it. The pyre has not cast its light in many a year. Ships need no beacon to warn them of this place. Pyre. Travellers such as ourselves, however, require such things to find our path. A light in the black. The way ahead is dark. A darkness even the blind can see. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, that, that makes some sense, right? So, it must be this thing. And it must be pyre, surely. But how would you... How would you do that, then? No. That's... no. Oh, okay, so if I do this... I think I understand now. If I do this, so if I... The letter P is at the bottom there, right? No, not that one. That one. And then that. Yes, I understand now, right? So let's go there. And we want that one to go up. That one to go down, P, across. Now we're looking for the letter Y and we need to line it up with what? How are we going to get that? If I aim that one down, no. If I aim that one down. Oh wait, I think I see. If I put that up. Yes, okay, pi up. There we go, that's the word we're looking for. Let's get over, let's just finish now. That's close enough for me. Uh, R, R, R. So R, aim that down. That one's straight at it, and this one up. Yes, I get it now. Okay, so now we just need E. E is there. That's aiming at E. This is, this is going to aim at E that way. And there we go. We have a thing. It's a carved wooden arch. Which I guess goes somewhere on that table. Is that the whole point of that puzzle? It seems a bit... Uh, where, now, where does this go? Does it go here? I don't think it does. No. Does it go anywhere over here? No. 
are there any, like, two little dots that this pops into? Got a lot of little symbols there, but nothing we can do with them. Oh, does that go there? No. That doesn't do anything on that section. Does this do anything anywhere here? Does it go in this? Right, so I don't know what that's for. It's obviously for something, but... What was that bit on the side? This bit here, what is that? Anything we can do with this? Oh, hello! It's a lock. We can open it and we get a drawer popped out. I don't know why I didn't work that out earlier. Pull it out and we got... Oh, hello! A wooden gear! Can I close this now because we don't need it anymore? So a wooden gear might go on top of that. Aha! Now I guess we just... Yeah, look! Here it is! Not to use any hints yet, so we'll try and keep that up if we can. Oh, all the stuff's lifting. There's a variety of buildings. Oh, I bet that, that bit that's there, I bet that's where this arch goes. Let's have a look. Take a cheeky wee glance at this. No? This would, this would rotate if I had something to place in the socket. Surely that, no? I guess not, okay. So what's this, what are these buildings that have appeared? A little, the bottom of a tower. Nothing we can do with that. I'm going to look at the main building in a minute. What's this? Like a little... That doesn't do anything there, does it? So that's like a water wheel. We can turn that. And that opens the door. Oh, and I guess we can go inside. With the eyepiece on. Like we did in that lock earlier, right? Surely. Ooh. So we got a room. Obviously. And there's a snake with a gem on it there. Oh, and it's got other gems on it. There's a red one. So what do we do with this snake? Can we pull it out? No. Can we grab its head? Oh, hello. And do that. No. Do this. Do that. Oh. Ah. So what does this do? Oh, we can turn these. Maybe they all need to turn blue? Or do they all need to turn red? No, they must all need to turn... Oh, I see. Here we go. Look. Is that it? His mouth pops open. And he gives me something. His tongue. No? This button? Aha! That pops his jaw open and we get a little magnet. A magnet. So some kind of magnetic puzzle will be happening. Is that it? Have we done it? Is that everything in this room? There's a little bellows there. It looks like there's nothing else we can grab onto here. Oh, so I guess we're just leaving. Just pop the... Oh, that's off anyway. Okay, so we got a magnet. What could that be for? Could that be for here? For this thing? No, no. We have a magnet. Could be on top of there, maybe? No. Could be... Nowhere else that I can see right at this precise moment in time. What about this big building? What do we have here? Tower? What's that on the top? Oh, that's the, that's the thing we turned. I don't want to use a hint if I can help it. Let's just see what's here before we try anything like that. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing there. I feel like... This area... See, that looks like this should go in that. Oh, look, it does. It does. After all that, it does. I don't know why it didn't fit before. But yeah, so now we can go through this Stonehenge-looking door thing. 
That's not what it is, but you know. And we're in this room. This area of the room. Does that turn? That looks like it should turn. But apparently not. Okay, so we've got two little orbs. Which give us that symbol. There's one of those over there, too. That symbol. That symbol. Does that do anything for me? What am I supposed to do here, I wonder? I'm guessing you can't go back over. Oh, no. I painted light on that, but it doesn't seem to have... Oh, hang on. Is this showing me the way I'm supposed to do this, I wonder? So if that's the case... That one... Gives me that. And then from there... We've got this one, which is like an 8. Uh, that should be easy enough to work out. So we do this. I guess if we draw these runes, it should do what we need it to. Yep, there we go. We got the second little area. And what was the third one? So top corner. Well, we're starting there. We're going to go... Oh, how are we doing that? Can I look at that while I'm doing it? No. That's not so straightforward. So we want to create like a diamond shape. I would imagine... Go in there... To the bottom corner, up there... I guess. Let's see. Is that it? Yes! We've done it! We've succeeded at getting whatever this is. Oh look! There's another little tower with a big stone on the top of it. Ah, and a thing that we can look at with our lens. Now what's that? So we've got like... Can these move? Cross-shaped socket. It's not this, is it? No. And a little sliding bolt there. Does that turn? No. So something needs to go in there. It could be like a screwdriver. But it's not something I have. That, as far as I can tell. What's that? North, east. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. Uh, no. Yes. But that one's not right. So how do I turn it back? Oh yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. Pop that in. One compass. Right, okay, and what's in this? A belt? Belt buckle? A wooden model piece. Let's have a look at it before we try and put it anywhere. So this has got little slots up the side of it. I guess we've got to go back out to the main kind of model thing then, really. And see if we can work out what that's for. Here's another thing. What's this? I must need a special kind of key for this door. It's not that, is it? No, it's not that. And it's not the magnet. No. Okay. It's neither of those things. Uh, this, as I say, we, we looked at, but we need something to turn these. And that's about... What's this? Constellations? Can we do anything with this? Look, you can move... Ah, you can move this. And I guess you can move that as well. I guess. Yeah, so... That is going to be for some sort of symbols. Now I wonder... Like, for example, that one there... No? Oh, I see. I've got to line these up with the corresponding thing, I guess. So I don't know what that is just yet. Does that is that anything? It's just an empty panel. And what's this on top? There's a hole in the top. It's the crystal maze. We've got to retrieve the crystal. I think we might have to come out of this just now. Because I don't think we can do anything in that section right at this minute. 
But we've got that model piece, which should slot in somewhere, maybe there. Aha. And in it is a house. I want to open something else too. What's that? What is this? We've got a little thing. And it doesn't do anything. It looks like something's supposed to go in this cradle. Is it that? Nope. Is it that? No. Let's have a look at this house that we've just laid down. See what it's got in it. Oh, there's a little latch or something. What's that? Can we do anything with that? Can't zoom into it to find out. That looks like something happens to it. But maybe it's something to do with that thing there. The cradle. Don't know. It didn't really do very much, did it? It did this, but... I don't know what this is. It almost looks like an ore thing, you know, when you put where you put an ore. I think I'm gonna go back there because there's nothing else. I feel like some of the stuff here is important. It's the only the only place really that we've got. Let's have a look at a little hint just to see. The round magnet I found is a curiously shaped extrusion on its underside. Can I have a look at it? Ah, I did not realise that. There we go then. Right, so let's just put the lens on. Oh, okay. Oh, right. But how do I get it off there? Can I take it off there? Or is it just stuck now? Have I just messed up? messed it up. Can I not move these back? Do I need another magnet? Well, maybe... Does this do something now? No. Neither of those things do anything at the moment. This thing slides up and down. I feel like I've just messed this up and put that there when I shouldn't have. I'll never know now, because it's stuck. So I guess these have to go to a specific position. Oh, let me see. I saw a golden handle in the box inside the standing stones model. A golden handle. What, this? The box inside the standing stones model. So that's this. Right? Golden handle. Let me just see if there's anything. No. This is the standard stone model. But I don't see a box. Unless it just means that. It must mean that, right? A gold handle. Where? Oh, oh, hello. Maybe there's another... Oh, look at that. Serpent and that. Oh, we've got like a clock. A model clock face. But look at this. The serpent... And the kind of triangle symbol. Let's just have a look at that. That was in here. So, the serpent. What's that? But I've got to keep it on there. I can't... Oh, and that's... No, why is it not going there? There. So what does that do? That shows me something, but I don't really know what. Right. I need a pad of paper. Give me one minute. Right. Okay. Let's see. So. Well, that was a bit loud. Sorry. So, the kind of S shape, which is like that. Oh, no, wait, I'm looking at the wrong one. It should be that one down there, right? It's not a serpent, that's just the letter S. That still doesn't really tell me anything, oh, unless... No. Let me look at that again. That drawer, it was... where was it? There. 
Yeah, the kind of snake symbol in that. So that was... That is what that's supposed to be. But it doesn't appear to be anything. I don't see anything there that's useful. Can't move the lens. I can't... Can I adjust it to focus on something? No idea. Right, well, we got this thing out of that drawer. Whatever it is. Um, clock face. So let's find a clock tower, I guess. Oh, unless that goes on here. No. Okay, well, it doesn't go in there. Which I kind of expected. So let's see, there must be a clock tower. Surely on this building there's a clock face. Or space for a clock face. Aha. Uh -huh. There we are. And it's open. And we can go inside. <coughs> oh yeah, I need that to be... I think it was that. An owl! Alright, Mr. Owl. What do you do? Oh. Where is that? I can twist his head. Does that do anything? Okay, it opens him up. A model boat. Anything else open on this owl, or is that it? Right, is, there anyth is, that, is that important? No, just the owl, nothing else. It looks like. Okay, so we got a model boat. Ah, okay, so down on one of the... Down where the house is, there's like a dock. Yes! Boat on the dock. Take it over there. And the little window opens. And we can go inside. I need to look out for these symbols that were around before though, don't I? And this is a little rat. Ah, all those symbols that were on everything else. The rats and the snakes and the... So what do you think we do here? Pull the ears? Well, there's a little button there. Or there. Ah, we've opened up his face. Don't don't try and do that on a on a real animal. You can't you can't do that kind of thing. You'll get in serious trouble if you try and open up an animal's face. Because you shouldn't do it. It just shouldn't be done. So now we've got little dots behind his ears. Is he hiding his eyes behind his ears? And in there we have a key of some description. I guess that's it in here too. So we got a key. Uh, not much else. Uh, th does that really help us? I want to check something. I want to have a quick look over here and just see if there were any symbols. It's totally not what I'm looking at. Yeah, there must be. But we don't have it right now, so stop. Are there any little symbols anywhere around here like those ones for that other puzzle. No. And it was that. That's done. This is nothing yet. We've been inside the clock tower. There's no other drawers or anything on the outside of it. Hmm. So where are we going now? I think we've got to go back inside here, right? You need to actually be looking at it to go inside it. As we found out. Okay, so... What next, then? Are there any more of those symbols around this that we're supposed to use? Can't look at that. So, like, this... Is the kind of... Yeah, that's the shape of that. Like a triangle... With a little dot outside it. And the kind of snake thing. So that's definitely where we set that to. What's this belt for, anyway? Nothing, apparently. What are these? You can't look at that symbol, so that doesn't mean anything. I guess. This was that symbol we saw. So that and that brings us nothing. That's good. 
Okay, let's drop another hint. I've rotated the orb upside down. It seems like I can spin it around now. Yes, it does. But how does that help me? Oh, look. Ah, I didn't think to do that. Look at that. Spinny, spinny. And inside that we have another magnet. I had it the entire time. Can you believe that? I can. I can believe that. Because it just happened, didn't it? Okay, so, when we put both of these in here, I imagine there's some kind of order these are supposed to be in. But, but what? Not that. What about... Nope. So how do I work these out then? Could it be... I wonder... Nope. So how do I work that out? Bugger. It's not any obvious combination. Or at least to me, it doesn't appear to be any obvious combination. Does that help me in any way? Like with this part of it? No. Not even remotely. So something here needs to be done to get these to pop open, I guess. Uh, I'm going to have to have another hint, I think. There are engraved bra brass plaques on the box inside the Standing Stones model. They must mean something. Engraved brass plaques. What, you mean like the... Like, I know what these are. These are engraved brass plaques, but that's not what it means. The only engraved gla uh, brass plaque we had... Oh, wait, there's one there. Ah, okay. So what do we have there? That is a kind of triangle... It goes like that and that with the spiral. Let's have a look at what that one might be. In fact, well, let's look around to see if we can see any more. Because I completely missed that one. Anything on top? Nope. So that, nothing we can look at, nothing we can look at. Unless we only needed two of them. I don't... Let's just have a look at what that does. So the spiral one is there. Get it off so we can see the whole thing. And that wants to link up with this one. But what does that help? What does that give me? Oh, look. There's like a, a, a person. A lady. I think, well, or a man, it could be a, just a, a person of some kind, isn't it? Does this do anything? No, so we found that. And on the other side, we found that, which is absolutely nothing, from what I can tell. A dot. The moon and the sun. Oh, it's like a, like a sun type symbol? Are there any more? I don't see any more. Could be some in there for all I know. Wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute. What, what, was there anything like that in there? No. So right now I'm kind of like, we've got that one. We had the other one that was up the top. And I know both of those. What's the next hint? There's a symbol plaque near the drawer at the bottom of the box and another on one of its pillars. They look relevant to the star chart. Yeah, I already know that. Can I look at that hint again? Some of that. They look relevant to the star chart elsewhere on the box. Yes, they do. They very much do. So we've put them in and it doesn't really help me. So it was just two. It was just two. What is it? Could be like a 
childbirth or something. Does the key do anything here? No. So that one, fine, we put that in the chart. This one, it was definitely this one, wasn't it? And it was definitely that symbol. But that does nothing, that's... There's a little symbol there as well, but I would assume... Can we drag anything in there? No. But well, I've done those, how does that help me? If I move the star chart sliders to match the symbols on those brass plaques, focusing on the looking glass should reveal a specific pattern. Okay, well, I've done that. But it doesn't. It's got this symbol here and like a... So where would I... Where, what do those correspond with? Like, what? what's the... I see symbols. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So that's like the spiral. In the middle there, isn't it? That's like that spiral. This one. On the other side, though, I don't think there's anything like that. Was there? There's none of, no symbols that match any of the ones on there. Or are there? I can't see it. I mean, there's not, there's no obvious symbol there that we're supposed to use. Maybe a triangle? I'll try that. What if we go to the spiral and the triangle? There's nothing. Right. Spiral and that gives us this. It's like the woman. Where does that... So where do we use that, though? Where do I use it? Doesn't appear to be any... Let's see. The patterns I found in the star chart seem to have something to do with the circular panel on the box. I should examine it through my eyepiece. Circular panel on the box. You mean this one? No. Oh, hang on. No. What? What? I'm very confused by this. So these should correspond with the round panel? You mean this round panel? But how? How? I don't understand. What? Okay, I'm very confused by this puzzle, I have to tell you right now. Very confused by this puzzle. Well, we're going to have to take the last hint, I think. If I move the magnets on the circular panel, I can position the diamond-shaped sliders according to the patterns I've seen on the star chart. Huh? I mean, okay, yeah, so... What? Wait. Oh, look! Left, right, right, middle. Left, right, right, middle. What does the other one have? I can't believe I didn't notice that. Well, I mean, I can, but, you know. And the other one had right, left, right, middle. Okay, so which of them should I do first, though? Right, well, let's try them and see what happens. I guess each of them, because they'll they'll unlock each of the locks, right? Okay, pop that on. So we want uh, the top one to be on the left, like that. We want the next one to be on the right, and that one. But then I need... If I do that, it's going to... It's left, right, right, middle, isn't it? So, one. No? 
Does that pop one of the locks for me? What? Does that pop one of these locks? No. Let's try the other one. The other the other pattern. Right, left, right, middle. Right, left, right, middle. Well, what does it do? Because at the moment that doesn't appear to have done anything. That hasn't actually done anything at all. What? What? Right, left, right, middle. Left, right, right, middle. Let's try that again. Right. Oops. That one's going to be on the right as well. That one will be in the middle. Then what? But then nothing happens. Let's look at those symbols again. Let's look at these symbols again. Has it got to be what falls inside the square, maybe? I, why did I... I've, I read these upside down. I read these upside down. That's stupid, really. Middle. <laughs> right. Left, right. I read them from b top, bottom to top for some very bizarre reason. And then it's going to be middle, right, right, left. Well, that's just silly. <laughs> but never mind, let's get back to it so we know what we're doing now go here, pop the little lens on so we can see what we're doing, and we want the top one to be in the middle, okay, and then, no wait, because if I do that, yeah, I need to be able to, okay, so that's going to be that, that's that, ah, there we go, and that lock pops open, nice and easy. Always middle, right, right, left, right? So the, next, the other one is middle, right, left, right. So that's right. How am I going to keep that there? Well, easily. Left. Right. Pop that up there. So that should be the next one. There we go. I don't know why. I, I, got, the, I got the order of the puzzle completely reversed. But the door's open. What's inside? Oh, it's another... Oh, it'll be a part of that tower, look. A wooden model piece. Looks like it's got a keyhole on it, too. Can we put the key in it? Yeah, there's a keyhole. Right, well, let's pop this in place. I'm assuming on top of that tower that's already there. <clears throat> this tower here, I'm guessing. Should be where this goes. Yes. What does that do? The table's going to do something else. It's lifting. We're going up. <clears throat> up into the tower. Up into the height of the tower. Ah, a diving helmet. Just what we need. Alright, so we did that. And there's a keyhole on here. Can I just have a quick look and see if this key works on it? Ah, we can go inside. Well, let's go inside. See what's in there. What's it going to be? It's another one of these. Oh, hello. I'll be having that, thanks. I can't just take it. Okay. Right. Um. Give him a hand. 
Okay, so, oh I see, and look, his legs aren't on properly either. And this is a recreation of what's already there, what was already there. Got a little crank, oh I see. That gives me this. Oh, I can go inside that too. Right, sure, why not? It's just, what, what? Worlds within worlds. Oh, I see, I think I get it though. Each one of the areas we're going into will allow me to move a different part of the guy. The wooden man. So now this one should move the other hand. Yes. Like that. And now I can have this. No. No, don't chase me around the room. No, please don't. So he's going to pop that on top of the, uh, the tower. And I'm out. I just get pushed straight out of it. Booted straight out. So now we've got an extra little bit of tower. And no extra pieces that we can use right now, so... What was that? Is there something inside it? Something inside so strong. What's that say? There must be some way of illuminating the lamp. Illuminati confirmed. Illuminate the lamp. By doing what exactly? There's a lighthouse. What did we have in all of these areas? I think we did most of the stuff in there. The diving helmet by the window. Yeah, you should definitely investigate that. I can't believe I forgot all about it already. Talisman and Company, manufacturers of diving apparatus. Prototype model 228. That's right down 228. Because you never know. That number might be useful. Not fit for purpose. Imagine, imagine engraving that into the thing. Not fit for purpose. Okay, so that's that. Can we open the little window? Maybe. Does it turn? Does it do anything? So these clips have to come off, I would imagine. I can't really see anything that will unclip that. Turn that? Turn it that way. No. Okay. Nothing we can see through it. Can't rub it out or anything. Uh, around the back, we've got a valve here, or some sort of release that we can't do anything with. Oh, hello, what's this? That looks like it should get pushed in then. No? Not gonna go in there. Wait, something just happened. Like gas coming out, or air coming out the back. Why did that happen? Who knows? What's on the other side? Some sort of handle should go there. Well, I don't have a handle. So, I can't really help you there. This should be turned. Oh, that, that'll do something. So I'm just going to pop this open. And inside there's a little mushroom, no, a brass rivet. A brass rivet. Is that what goes there? No. What's this? Like a drawer on the side of it. Oh, what's that? A piece of antler? Yep, an antler. And the rocks of this island have always had a taste for blood. This tenacious aquanaut thought his science would be proof against them. I hope his curiosity into my affairs is now satisfied. Probably. If he's dead, I mean, not much you can do about that, right? So, we got a little rivet and an antler. Unless that... Would that have a bit of antler as its handle? I didn't think so, really. thought it was worth a check, but... No. Rivet? No. Not like a frog. Frogs don't rivet. They don't have the they don't have the capability of uh, using the tools. You see. 
Does this go here? Uh, no. That's nothing. That's not something. What about these? We can't go towards the back of it. Does this rivet do something here? No. What about the antler? No. Okay. So what else can we do? That was the little rivet that we got. A couple of little bits. Oh, wait a minute. That one didn't see that before. So what do we have there? It's like a set. It's almost like part of an infinity symbol, but with little commas inside it. <laughs> Apostrophe. Yeah, com. Uh, not commas. <laughs> right. So what have we got here? We've got some diamonds. Some diamonds. Arranged in a little kind of cross pattern. And three little arches. I'm sure that might be useful somewhere. Where, I don't know, but somewhere. I need to find a handle for this. Something for that. I don't know what the hell that is. I can't turn this. I thought maybe I could turn this, but no. Anything that you can see by doing that on the, on the thing? No. So where would those symbols go? Nothing else in this room, is there? Just the diving helmet and that. I'm going to have to take a hint. The rivet looks like it belongs somewhere on the diving helmet. I mean, there's about a million places on this diving helmet that that rivet could go. But apparently it belongs somewhere here. Any rivets missing on this? Can I not get closer to that? No, the rivets all appear to be in place on there. Can't see where a rivet would go here. But let's just check. This is, uh, if you excuse the expression, this is riveting stuff right here. Hmm. Well, it doesn't go there. That's for sure. Not there. Not there. Can't look there. There's hoses shooting out air. We've got a little dial there. We, we turned this, so that's done. That was that. Seriously, where does this rivet go? Can it go in there? No. Oh, wait, look. There's a hole there. Aha. Uh -huh. So that'll do something. Presumably it'll open this little compartment. And inside we get an acorn. A metal acorn, of course, not just a regular old acorn. Okay. Oh, and a switch. What does that do? Pops the other side open. Oh, look, and that's part of the, uh, that's part of the model. Is that all we need to do here? That part of the model goes... There? Yes. And it gives me like an observatory. And that turns. Oh, yeah, there we go. Done something. That uh, that's gonna open another doorway for us to go through, okay. So another puzzle inside one of the one of the models. That's a grasshopper. What's that or cricket, I suppose it might be, I don't know. Right, normally it's like a button like that that you start with. Oh, here we go. Open his wings. Drag that down. That opens his back end. Pop that switch. There we go. And that's opened its head, I think. Oh yeah, look there. What's that done? Got a little arrow. A metal pointer. For like a compass or something? I guess that's all we need. A metal pointer. Hmm. Does that help with anything? Something on here, maybe? Does that go there? No. Nothing goes anywhere. What is this acorn? What's that for? Oh, what's that? Oh, hello. Does this turn? 
Does that acorn work as like a handle to turn that? Or the antler? Or the pointer, surely. What were those symbols that we had? Oh, hello. What was the first symbol? It was that, wasn't it? And then the diamonds. Oh, not quite. Yeah, I have. Okay. And then the three arches. Ah, this does something. Let's open this. Let's, that opens that panel up there, which has got a copper tap. I'm assuming that tap probably is the handle this wants. But what does it do? Is this going to open the door? That's oh, going to lift these things. How does that help me? What does that do? Okay. That's done something. Now that should unlock this. So I guess we can unwind this thing. Now we're going to find somebody's skull inside it. Oh yeah, I knew it. I knew it. And inside that, the tongue doesn't look like a real tongue. It's a crystal file. Anything else useful there? Can we take any of his teeth? No. Can't take his teeth. I think we've probably done everything on that, haven't we? No obvious puzzles left on that thing. A acorn antler. Hmm. Where could that take me? There's still things on this we haven't finished. On that area, aren't there? I'm sure. Like there's still parts of this little puzzle thing that we hadn't done anything with. Or am I wrong about that? I think I might actually be wrong about that. No, no, there was this. There was this. But that doesn't work with that. That doesn't work with that. And that doesn't work with that. Okay. That's the only part of that we haven't done. As far as I'm aware. Back to the helmet then. No, what? Go away. What's the acorn for? Let's have a look at a little hint there. Take a closer look at the bronze acorn. I should have looked at it really. You should really look at everything. Look at unwind. It unrolls. It unfurls and then ah, that is for that thing in that puzzle. It is for that thing in that puzzle. We just hadn't found it yet. Pop that on. Jump inside. And see. What we're supposed to do with this so okay it's like a little it's almost like a little clock face but that looks like it should pop inside that then what do we do do i just turn it oh yes and in there we have a skull on which i can pop an antler Don't really know. oh hang on ah, okay if i position these the same way, I guess. Stay there. Okay, and now the top one. Is that close enough, is it? Oh, and the rock on top just lifts up. And underneath we get... That's where that file goes. I guess that crushes it. Blood's going to come seeping out of the thing. And there's a stone. Where is this stone? A glowing gemstone. Great, how does that help me? Oh, that'll be the light for the lighthouse, of course. Bang. Bang. In you pop. Let there be light! And that is an illuminated lamp. For what? And that's now disappearing, so I guess we've done everything we needed to do on that. And now a new table's coming, or a new platform's coming down. 
what's this going to be? Let's take a close look. Oh, something. Doors are shut. And we're on our way somewhere. I guess we'll wait and see where. We'll wait and see where we're going. For a bit of fun. So what is the next? Oh look, we're at the top of... A lighthouse. It looks like. And where... So I guess this lamp's supposed to go somewhere here. What's that? Oh, that's got something in it. What does that do? Nothing? Up and up. Down and down. I thought these were maybe locks. That, oh, maybe they are. Well, if they're locks, they don't seem to actually do anything. None of that moves. What else is around the edges of this? I've got more of those things. And again. What's that? I can't read what's written on there. It's too small. So this is something. But what? Do these, does this turn now that those are all disconnected? No? Does that turn? I feel like we should be able to rotate this. I don't know. There's an alcove cut into that drum inside the lamp's cage. How can I reach it? Yeah, well that's what I'm trying to work out. So thanks for that hint. That was absolutely useless. Can we turn these? Because I would assume that has to turn so that we find a slot that we can get it through. So like that one needs to be on top. Surely that's what it is. So I have to move the whole thing surely but it doesn't seem to want to go anywhere. Can I zoom in on that? I feel like that's that's what I'm supposed to do, but how do I move it? Differently shaped openings, the other half of the cage, I'll need to align the largest ones, obviously, and I worked that out. We worked that out pretty easily. So how do I adjust them? Can I move them? I must be able to move them round. But how? So like that so I want wait I think I might have done that wrong where's the slot we're wanting for the alcove the alcove is there so I have to find the one that one so that can unlock that can now go in alright well I think I've worked it out now and surely that, and then this just slots in there. Oh, there we go. Bada bing. And we've gone somewhere else. Pyre service. And we got another triangle. Another triangle. Another pyramid. Oh. And that's going to take us back to that place that we started out in. So now that lighthouse is lit up. Scale in the lighthouse was quite the feat, though its beam may illuminate troubles to come, they remain yours to shoulder. That's taken a long time to get there, <laughs> can I just say. So if they put me back to that central room, this, this pyramid will pop in and then it'll start spinning as well. So we don't need to do any of this, because this is all done. Let's just get out of here. So go over here. Pop the pyramid on there. And it should slot into wherever it needs to go. Spinning, it's spinning. So we've got to get another, th at least three of these. I assume. Possibly even more. 
Oh, something's going to pop out of the uh, out of here. Another interesting item. That opens. That opens. That opens. Oh, is this something where we have to line up specific symbols? I feel like that's supposed to be there. Just the I don't know, I feel like that's not the angle I'm supposed to look at this from. Wait. Okay, so that needs to line up with that somehow. And then what? That doesn't make any sense. I've got to line this up somehow, right? Maybe from the other side? No, it's got to be the other way, right? It's got to be that way. And that's got to have something to do with it. And now we can move the bottom half. Wait. No. Not that bit. Ah. That looks uh, promising. I move this in such a way that that actually works. There's a big gap in it. Hmm. I feel like that's what we're supposed to be doing, kind of. I don't really understand exactly how to line it up so that it works. It's not that. This is That was the right way, I think. I feel like there's a whole chunk of this missing. If you do it from that angle, it doesn't work at all. There's a whole bit of it missing. So how am I supposed to do it if there's a bit of it missing? Looks good. Isn't right. Object that emerged from the table in the central hall is open now. I think I can rotate those dials at its top and its base. Yeah, I know. I know that's what I can do. But how does it help me to do that? Are these just in the wrong position? See, the trouble is, I feel like... That has to be what it is. That has to be what it is. What if I rotate this? There's only one possible way it can go. Oh, wait a minute. No, that, that's that's all you can do with that. If I look from a certain angle, rotating the dial seems to form a coherent shape. Kind of, but the rest of the arch is not there. It's like that. That looks like it's lined up right, but then the other side isn't lined up right. It's quite fiddly as well. Oh, get away. It's quite fiddly. It's not quite lined up. But I can't do it in such a way that it lines up properly. Because then that doesn't line up properly. And then the top doesn't line up properly. Can I move that over there? Does that do anything useful for me? Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. I wonder if I'm doing it from the wrong side. I mean, we did it that way at first, but now I'm wondering if I'm supposed to do it from this side. Because this was the way, obviously, it was facing originally. see. So that lines up with there. I guess this is probably what it is, to be fair. No, what are you doing? God damn it. <laughs> it's very frustrating. Just the way the thing works, it seems to 
Right, that should be about right. Yeah, look, because we're doing it that way, we line up with this one. There we go. Right, so if I can just move that. There we are. I forgot that you needed to line it up. Well, I didn't know that you needed to line it up with that shape on the other wall. So the whole reason it wasn't working before was because we were looking at the wrong area. New room. New rules. Well, not new rules, but new puzzles anyway. So what have we got here? We've got a library. A lectern there with something on it. Do anything with that? Stands made for a particular book. Oh good. So we have to find a specific book amongst a lot of books. There's number 1795 written there. That does nothing because it doesn't have any power. This doesn't have any power. What else do we have? So the gramophone has no power. That's just the way we came in. We've got another one of these boxes. It's probably going to shoot a laser over there. We've got one of these wave things. Yeah, so that's going to shoot the laser. Oh, there's a note there. Interesting, here you stand all corporeal and breathing and the rest. Existing is something you appear to have a tremendous knack for. A useful trait and one that has been distressingly lacking in my previous apprentices. Perhaps my search really is at an end. This library is unique in all the world, though I would counsel against indulging your curiosity, as is common at Greyholm. There are things here that are not sympathetic towards inquisitive hands. Do not idle here. Do not idle here. Lovely. Mystical Maggie. Right, Maggie. Not Maggie Thatcher, is it? Because we don't want that. A token. Token. Interesting. There's a room that you can go into there. And this is another one of those power puzzles. Minus plus minus. What's that? Where's what's it what's through here? It takes us to another room. There's another there was a power cable running everywhere there. What's this? Does this have any power? That is locked in place by the look of things. And doesn't have any power anyway. Let's go in there. What's this? The Great Khan and his impossible pyramid. Oh, two pyramids. But nothing else that's really of much interest. Is like an Escher thing there? I don't know. It's a thing. It was there. So, the power is on this. So we need to get the power to spread out. Minus to plus to minus. What is this? These don't have any... Oh, hold on. Okay. Minus to plus to minus. That's minus. Oh, no, it's not. Minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. Is that it? Yes. Power will shoot through this and go, first of all, to that switch upstairs. That's got power, though. Why couldn't we just piggyback the power out of that? Uh, we need a token for that thing to tell us our fortune, or... Possibly turn us from an adult into a child, I don't know. Like the film Big, you know. Oh, it switches, man. You can't... I'm playing with the mouse, and it just doesn't want to... There we go. It's all about positioning yourself. Right, so there we've got some kind of clock tower. Power goes there, which will now go over to that box, I would assume. Soon find out. Because that box, you have to turn that on and then you can look at the wave patterns on the other thing. So let's have a look. And then we've also got to turn these on somehow. I guess that's this? Yeah, look, there's, there's power to that, so. By flipping all the switches. 
open a button and we are good for this little part. That will turn that on. And we just need to make sure that we create the right pattern, the right wave pattern. Oh, but this time we don't have... We don't have dials, we have that. That was much easier than the other one. And that's going to project its little light on there. This little light of mine... Shine. Where's this going to take us, I wonder? So we had a room with like a model castle in it. Well, I think obviously it's a model of the whole place that we're in. Uh, what do we have here? There's a thing on the wall there. So, oh, that's just a wheel with a handle. There's a keyhole on that. There's obviously a crow or some kind of bird inside there. Keyhole on this. We don't have a key, so we can't use that just yet. Okay, we've got a handle here. Doesn't go on that. Rope up the top. We got a room. Can't do that. There's a room here. Does this do something? Small gear isn't connected to anything. Does this work with it? No. So that's not for opening that door. Uh, right, what's this? We've got a golden box. Little note. It says, This tower was added by my great-grandfather, though his time ran out earlier than expected. Your path will appear when the last bell tolls midnight. A trifle dramatic, I know, but our ancestors understood more than they realised. There truly are moments when the cycle of our world brings it closer to its neighbours. Sweet. Everybody needs good neighbours. There's the pyramid. Can we do anything with this? No? Oh! That has flipped one catch. One little latch on the thing there has been flipped by that. Don't know if that really helps me, but okay. I mean, it will obviously eventually help me, but... What are these? These look like they slide. They do. And they open the front of this thing. Does that go in there? Nope. So we've opened that, but we don't actually have anything to put on it yet. And we've got these. They don't appear to be anything. The back of here has rivets in it, but we can't... Oh, hang on. Little button there, looks like. No? These are like buttons, but they don't appear to actually do anything. What am I looking at here? There doesn't appear to be anything to look at there. And, oh, there's some slots on the side of this as well. For something we've obviously got to put into there, but... I don't know what. There's buttons all over the place. But none of them seem to react to any presses. Now, what else is here? Anything else interesting? That's some sort of thing that looks like it might lower that. This is nothing at the moment, at least. We can't turn it. Can't turn that one. This one doesn't seem to have any link to it. I mean, it probably does, but... The glass panel the gold box is open. I should check if something's hidden inside. Do you know, I, every time I do this, I forget to use my lens. Every time. An empty circular socket. I think something's missing. Well, I could have bloody told you that. Is it this? It's not this, though. So what? what is it? Oh, look, there's a chess piece there that I didn't see. Oh, it's not a chess piece. It's a small metal pillar. Where's there not a metal pillar? Here. I would assume that's going to pop into there. And then just slot it across, and that catch should open, too. Well, there you go. Open it. Thank you. Still can't get the pyramid, but, you know. Right, so there's some kind of weird maze thing here. 
that we can't really do anything with right now. Buttons don't do anything. This has no purpose there. What's that? There's like a red button on that. Is that for something? You should never press red buttons, but you know, it's always worth a shot, right? Some sort of crystal. It's a liquid crystal display. No. Okay, so we got this. Oh, this, this slides. It gives me something. Ah, we can go inside that. I need to kind of turn my camera a little bit. This game, I think, will take a bit longer than the previous ones. Okay, so what's this for? So we want to turn this, or... No? That? No? That doesn't turn. We've got some slots here that these, I'm guessing, are supposed to fall into. On the other side, I've got a handle. Doesn't open. Maybe it does, we just haven't zoomed in enough. A crank handle, which will go there. No. So it must go on this bit then. Uh, no. Apparently not. Oh, here we go. Does this do something? I mean, that does, that turns. But... Hmm. What am I lining this? Oh, I must be lining that up with those. There we go, that's what it is. So now, does this open or come off or something? What's... We found a metal ring. Can you combine things? Right, so I guess then that goes here, right? Right? It's not that we're looking for. Well, I guess it's that. Looks like some kind of socket. Pop the crank handle in the socket. Give it a turn. The handle came out. And something appeared at the top. Okay, so we've got more stuff. Does that move? That doesn't move. So we've got to... Do something. Right. So wait, am I supposed to move this through the maze? No. Oh wait, what? There's So there's a thing at the bottom. It must be this we're supposed to try and do, whatever that is. So I won't. There. Yes. It's just a case of recreating with the image below. What's that going to give us? Oh, it's taking some time. Four little air hockey pucks. So how am I supposed to control these? Ah, okay. So we've got little handles. That'll move that there. Now, do these stop, or will it continue the whole way? It'll continue the whole way. Oh, well, that one... We should be able to just slot in there, right? That's one. Oh, the clock tower, the pendulum is swinging. Ah, so we've got to do this until it, until it strikes midnight, I guess. Right, pop us out another one. What's going to be the best way to move these? At the moment, I mean, that's all you can do at the start. You can't... You can't move that while it's moving another way. Uh, where's this going to go? Up. Right. Down. Left. But that doesn't get me anywhere useful. Oh yes, it does. Oh yes, it does. The pendulum has swung. Is the bell going to chime? No. So, where's it going to go this time? Because we did that one, we've done that one. 
And the only way we can go the oh wait a minute. Can I go that way? No, the, the only way we can go is like this. Hmm. How do you get there? There's not very many controls for all this. It makes it difficult. If that goes up. That's not right, is it? Oh, wait a minute. That should go down. To the right. Up. Left. Down. And that should go in that one. Right, there we go. That was relatively easy in the end. <coughs> so one more. I guess we basically need to follow the path of the other ones. So there. Down. Right, down, left, down, right, down, left, up, right, down, right, up, left, down. That doesn't help me. Right, up, left. Oh yeah, I know how to do it now. Left, up, right. Done. Some of these are pretty straightforward to work out. But we are still pretty early in the game, I think. So let's pop inside this and see what the puzzle here is. Box with sliding bits. Is there anything else here? So we've got some cogs that turn. I don't think we're going to need to worry about those. Just suspicion. But this... Looks interesting. Oh, hello. I think I get it. I think I might have an idea. Oh, this crank handle works on this too. Does that move? I have no idea. No, that doesn't help. That would, but it doesn't. What's this crank handle doing here? Nothing. Oh, well, there we go. Alright, I see, and then I need to just move this through the puzzle. But it has to reach there, I guess. Sorry, that needs to go full. No, it's not gonna get me. That's not gonna go across there, is it? Oh wait, now it will. Uh, this needs to go that way. That's uh, pretty easy to work out what we're doing now, and then just run that right round, right? Press the button. Is that a button? Yeah. Not particularly tough to work out. Right, so this is a little bit different from the other one because now I'm going to have to work out... Well, it's a little bit different, but it's not difficult. I mean, a long one and a single one. And that. Yeah, that's right. That section's obviously fine. From here we need... that. Yep. Uh, that bit's fine. And then from here we need... Three dots and three single dots immediately. Three single dots up across two dots. That must be right. Only it's yeah, we need to run that across though. Yes. Nice one. For some reason it's difficult to get these to go down far enough with the mouse. There we go. Right, so that'll pop this little hatch open. Inside the little hatch we get some kind of cog, a gear, of course, it's a gear. Gears of war. No. Stop saying things like that. This does not go here, that does not go there, this does not go here. Some kind of gear. 
Got all the gear. Who's got all the gear? That's now turning. Oh. Now we've got some rotation. And the bells. The bells await. Oh, but that one's got some stairs inside it. So I assume they're bells. I mean... Tubular bells. Let's not do that. Might get a bit creepy. Right, this. This. Wheel has several sockets. There must be a missing piece. Sure. Is it that? It's that. Uh, does this turn now? It does. And with that it gives us... A chiming. A bell ready to chime. One time. Two times. And three. A fourth time. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. No, just eight. Said I had to chime midnight, but okay, there's a house. Our house... In the middle of our street. That's not what I want. So this requires some kind of adjustment. So that something can happen. Oh, is that it? Doesn't look right to me. I think that's right, surely. We're just back to the beginning there, though. Can I not, like, adjust these in some way? So we can't turn the angle any differently. That would work. Oh, wait. Of course. This now can go... Can it go there? No, because we can't get it lined up to go there. But that will work. And that'll work. But will that? That won't work. That won't work. Oh, this might. Yes. That works. And that gets me it, whatever it is. I don't know. Whatever that is, we've got it now. And now we've got a clock face. From what? Silly question, really. It's obviously from a clock. Do I need to leave here? I'm guessing so. There's nothing else in here. So a clock face for a clock of some description. Oh, we've just been shot straight across the room. Where would, where would that go, then? Doesn't go on this, does it? Or that? I might need a hint at this stage. Might need to drop a wee hint. If you don't mind. This. It has to go on this. It's like a clock. One of those old carriage clocks. Ah, so now we've got chess pieces. What do we have here? And, uh, There. Are we supposed to just capture the pieces? So if you capture that one. No. We can capture this one by going there. Yeah. To capture this one. Hmm. That gets me there, which can get me there. Ah, there we go. And then... Hmm. There. 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 One, two, 
one. That's one. And then there. There we go. Easily done. As long as you know how knights move. Those knight moves. Oh, we've got an oven. Doesn't look in the best of shape, but it's not an oven. It just has a kind of oven style look to it, doesn't it? Uh, that's dirty. Don't know what it says. This has a thing you can slide. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, what? Wait, does this turn? So what am I supposed to do with that? Oh, wait. Here we go. Aha. Does this turn as well? Don't know what, but, but this might. This will, should I say. That goes there. These slide across there. Should get that one across now. So let's see. I want tracks. Can't get what? So I can line up one side of that there. But I can't move the thing with, with only one side lined up. So how am I going to move the whole thing? How do I get two slots lined up in such a way that we can get that out of there? Oh, unless there's a specific track we have to create in it. Oh, there we go, look. That one. Ah, uh, there we go. That one, that one, and... Do, 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 this one. Now that should just pull down. Whatever this is should presumably be opened now. Oh, there we go. Just pull those back. And we get this, which I'm guessing that's supposed to go into. Because it's the only item we've got. So it's the only thing we could possibly use, surely. And... Pop the lid up. Oh, we've got a massive one of these things, Luke. Okay. Uh, oh, but that doesn't... We can't adjust much. Can I move this? Ah, right, okay. So that takes me to that. Let's stop there. I need three vertical dots. It's got to be that one, right? Two at the bottom, three, that, that. Yeah. And this one needs... That? No. That. Yes, so now this should slide across and we'll get a green light. And see it like this, I feel like... I know why, I dragged the mouse of pointer away too quickly. And because of that it wasn't quite in the right place. Right, this is a handle. A handle with a socket. Ah. That might be... Might be... Oh, there's a little ballerina thing there. That anything useful? A ballerina statuette would apparently be something we want. Maybe it goes on top of this. It's like a music box, do you think? Anyway, does this work on that? Because that pretty much is the same door handle, right? I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to lift it the other way, but it's clearly a door handle. Okay, what's down here? A relatively dull room. Nothing to see with this right now. Another painting there that we could look at. But we can't look at it right now because we're not actually at it. Got this box. With a weird lock on it. I say it was a weird lock. It was a pretty easy lock, wasn't it? Oh. Is that a key I can take? Winding key. We've got like a little music making thing here. You know, like the, it's like a, um, I thought it was like a music box, but like the perforations on it. It's like one of those old pianos. Oh, what the hell's this? It's like one of those old uh, what do you call it? Like a player piano that plays itself, obviously. So 
so does that do anything? I don't know how that moves. But you can change the tracks that it's going through. Oh, wait a minute. Excuse me, I just caught myself there before I sneezed on the mic, I hope. No? I'm relatively surprised that that doesn't go there. Small hatch, can't see a way to open it. Does that open it? No? I can't look at any other part of that. And it doesn't look like the winding key is used for any part of this. Well, we'll come back to that. I guess. What's this over here? So we've got some lights. And it looks like we've got to try and... No? None of these appear to actually do anything. Okay. There's a key behind that latch. And there's two symbols. Sorry, two sets of symbols. It's missing one of its blue things. What's that? Can't go to that, can't go to that, can't go to that. Anything over here worth looking at? Apparently not. Can't get in there. Maybe it is here. Can't see how though. I bet this needs to get across there maybe to do that. Hmm. I feel like this must be part of this, surely. Let's have a wee hint. but I somehow splashed myself in the face. <laughs> well, let's zoom out. This panel. Oh, it's a button, look. It's not a button, but look, it shows me this. So this is a bit that I've got to try and stick together, I guess. Quite easy really. And that gives me a little symbol. Ah, and that'll let me put the the winding key on it. Which will start some music. What's that taker anyway? Oh I see, I'm switching the track. Well that's just gonna send it right back to where it was. So what do I need to do? I need to get it to go down there. It's just going around in a circle now. Just see. Ah, there we go. Okay. Do it that way, it's going to... I suppose all it's going to do now is just go around in a circle again, right? Yeah. That didn't do anything. Oh, now it did. So wait, what way is it going to go from here? Is it going to continue round? Which way do I need it to go? I'm guessing it's got to get here. Up there, surely. Wait, 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 wait. Now. Right, does that pop that open then? It does. And then I presumably put the other ballerina in the this one. And she has to go in as well, right? So it needs to get there. Go there. But we need to turn round. Let me see. We need to get there. So how would we get there? By getting onto that circle. Didn't help me. Ok, 
Okay, so that's taking me to the bottom one. I need to get on this one, though. I think. How am I going to get on that one? I need to get on the main circular, if you like. All that's going to do is put me back on the path I was on a minute ago. Which isn't going to help. Yeah, all that's going to do is just put me straight back where I was. It's going to go back there. Now it's going to circulate around. No, because if I do that, it's going to go back there. I don't want it to go back there. That doesn't help. Let's see what it does if I do that. I mean, I already have an idea what it's going to do if I do that, but... All I would really need is for it to get on this circle, but it doesn't want to do that. I can't seem to... That's not going to work. Oh, wait. There it is. That's what we need. That's what we needed. Now we want it to split off onto there. And now... And wait, wait, wait. Go. And that should slot in on the opposite side and complete that puzzle. Whatever it is. Is that a little switch or that's the that's the final gem from that thing that we needed. Which is for this thing here. Right, so pop it in. Right. So what are we doing here? Blue. I see it's basically an arrow. Like that. That's done something. It's given me. What the hell is that? Something we can look at, but I'm guessing we haven't actually finished it yet. Oh, wait. And four buttons. And now I guess we want to do this pattern as well. Like six across the middle and four down. It's like that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. This and this. Does it work? It does. Right, so now we've got like a, a silhouette kind of pattern to work on here, I guess. Through this thing. What does that make? What do we think it's going to be? An eagle of some kind, by the look of things. Or an angel? That's a shadow of a shadow. Aha! Well, it's a bird of some description, anyway. Not, not really much more we can say than that. That gets me the key. Pop the key out. A key with a bird emblem. Does that get me in this gate? No. Wait. I know what that'll be. Upstairs. There was a locked box next to a cage with a bird in it. So I would guess that that key's for this. I'm not sure that would unlock. It should be the other way, surely. Away from the frame of the thing. Does that work? There we go. And the bird's cage is open and the bird is free. Don't think that bird's going to help us much, though. Great, I've released a bird. And in what way did that help me? Can't look at the cage. It went up there, did it? Does it go up the stairs here? We've already been up here though, I don't think there was anything else to do. 
We did this room with the with the thing. Oh no, the bird's here. And now it's flying off again. It's gone up to the bells. Oh, it's rung the bell for us. Which is going to burst that other crystal. And should allow us to get whatever this puzzle is. Let's go and find out. Do, 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 do. That's here, right? Do, 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 do. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back with... What is it we're playing tomorrow? Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima. So I hope you'll enjoy that too. No, that's not what I was looking at, actually. Um, we'll finish... I'm probably going to finish up pretty soon here. Right, so again we've got one of these things where we need to move the shape. Let's see. Does that work? Nope. That doesn't work either. I think we've probably gone to the wrong place with this. Okay, so swing, swing that back. No, that's no use. I need to create a path of light. Put that back where it was for a minute. Oh, wait a minute. That would work. If I'm right. There we go. I'm sure I did that and just didn't pay attention to it, to be honest. Does that go there? Nope. But we'll go there. Okay. Down and round. Up there, maybe. That's where we just had it, so it's not there we want to go. Where's that stop? We can't move that anywhere like that. What about that? I can't move that there though. Or there? Nope. Which way did I come from? No, wait, there we go. I'm pretty sure that's a new route, isn't it? has to be somewhere I can view this from, right? I mean, it can't be somewhere that I can't see it. it. Must be there somehow. Now, wait a minute. How did we get that there? We moved it across that, didn't we? Oh, no, wait. No, that's different. That should do it, should Oh, no, we can't move it there, though. move that into a position. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we can't. No, we can't. I thought I could move that into a better position to get an idea of where it was supposed to go, but it doesn't move. We did that. That's where we just took that from a minute ago, isn't it? Did we do that? Wait. Take that pl no, I need that on. Stupid, of course. I was like, take that bloody thing off. Then I realised, no, you can't do that. It needs to get on that path there so that it can get out. But how did I get it there? You know, that looks like the right way. But if I do that... It won't let me... Get it round... What's that? Where did that put it? Can't drag it onto there. Wait, what about that? 
No. This is quite annoying. The position, getting the exact position of this thing is not going to be easy. Hmm. What did that connect to to do that before? No. What? No. Oh, this puzzle's frying my head right now. It's worse than sliding blocks. <laughs> Can't do anything with it there. Can't see it there to do anything with it there. So it can't be there. Move that across. Then in order to do that, I need to move that across somehow. But I can't move it up there because it doesn't you can't see it from anywhere else. That's no use. I don't know. Where's the path that gets this out of here? There. So it needs to go up there. I mean, it needs to get across that path, right? So that is the right place for it to be. The trouble is, you can't then... Like, that, sh that looks like it should be able to just go there, right? Oh, wait. <laughs> I was looking right at the solution the whole time. I got another clock face. I guess that's going to go back to the room upstairs. On the clock thing. I mean, it's the only place I can think to put it. Does it just replace the one that's already there? Oh no, it's going to go on top of the one that's already there, isn't it? Because now we've got a full clock face. And with that, we have this. We have the winding key. Find that that way, apparently. Just clockwise, so that kind of makes sense. Midnight. At the oasis. What's it gonna do? It's gonna ring the bell. It's a big one. This is the news at 10 o'clock. Except it's midnight, so don't listen to me. We've smashed it up. Smash it up. Smash it up. And we've got the little pyramid. Which will bring us right back to the beginning of the area. There we go. Chapter complete. Impressive. You bested the, ruthl the ruthless mechanisms of the clock tower with humanity intact. And we didn't have to do too many hints either. So that's good. Anyway, this is where we're going to finish uh, once we get back to the place. I'm going to just go back to the table and put the pyramid on. And I guess see what the next area we go to is. But we're going to, we're going to finish up for tonight at that point. But all these things, they seem to be useless at the moment. There wasn't really any purpose of having those. Anyway, let's just pop this on to finish this bit. Hey, how are you? And, uh, we should be alright. Go on. I guess it's going to pop onto that one at the back there, I assume. There we go. So is it another two, or it looks to me like those other points might have something on them too. The tentacles are still here though. Or, well, tendrils anyway. And there we have what looks like a, an optical device. Is that going to go on to our... It's not going to go onto our lens, but it's got a little pile of pins there. Is this anything? Apparently not. Some sort of optical device. Well, we will find out what that's all about next time. 
Uh, for now, though, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I, so I'll be playing. Well, I'm just trying to think. It'll be next tomorrow. It should be Ghost of Tsushima. Then we'll probably have Fall Guys, and then this. So a couple of games in between, but we'll be back to this in a in, a, in short order, I'm sure. And I'll uh, put that on my Twitter page. If you are interested in following up, uh, you can always drop a follow with notifications. Or, as I say, just keep an eye on my Twitter page, which is down at the bottom there on the right. Night-night for now, then. And thank you very much for watching.